In this video, we'll begin to solve systems of linear equations by substitution in the homework exercises. Now, in example number nine, we have two equations. One of them is already solved for x, and the other is already solved for y. So if we want to do what we've been doing all along, and that is take the other definition for y and plug that in, in this case, to the first equation in place of y, we would get something that looks like this. x is equal to 17 minus 4 times x minus 2, since y is x minus 2. So we get x is equal to 17 minus 4x, distributing negative 4 times x is negative 4x. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And combining like terms on the right side, 17 plus 8 is 25 minus 4x. Now adding 4x to both sides gives me 5x is equal to 25. Dividing by 5 gives me x is, sorry, x is 5. Now, since x is 5, I go on to the second step, which says I want to use either equation now to plug in x equals 5. I'll use the second one because that appears to be the simplest equation. y is equal to x minus 2, but x is 5. So y is equal to 5 minus 2, y is equal to 3, giving me the ordered pair solution 5 comma 3. Now if this is correct, I should be able to plug in 5 comma 3 into the equation I haven't used, or I didn't just use, and that would be x is equal to 17 minus 4y, but we're saying that x is 5, and y is 3, so is 5 equal to 17 minus 12? 5 is equal to 5, and so it checks, and the ordered pair solution is 5 comma 3. We'll go on to the next example. Exercise. In exercise 11, you notice that we have x is equal to 16 minus 4y, and the next equation doesn't have a y or an x by itself. So we really want to use this definition of x and replace the x in the second equation with that definition. So I'm going to start with the second equation, 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. Replacing x with 16 minus 4y gives me 3 times quantity 16 minus 4y plus 4y is equal to 8. 3 times 16 is 48. 3 times negative 4y is negative 12y. Negative 12y plus 4y, and that's equal to 8. So combining like terms, I get 48 minus 8y is 8. Subtracting 48, subtracting 48, I get negative 8y is negative 40, dividing by negative 8, and I get y is equal to 5. Next, I'm going to then uh, use either equation at this point to solve for x. But since the first one already tells me what x is, if I know what y is, then I will simply use that. So x is 16 minus 4 times 5. x is equal to 16 minus 20. So x will be equal to negative 4 in this case, so that my ordered pair solution would be negative 4 comma 5. Now, at this point, I just need to check 
I've used the x equals 16 minus 4y just now, so I'm going to use the other equation, 3x plus 4y is equal to 8, and 3 times x would be 3 times negative 4, plus 4 times 5, and that's equal to 8. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, plus 20, and that is 8 equal to 8, and so it checks, and my ordered pair solution is indeed negative 4, comma, 5. We'll go on to the next. In example 13, this time the only variable that's by itself is x. Now, if you notice the first equation, we have 2x is equal to 12. I could actually solve that. That's an equation with only one variable. And I could divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 6 and plug it into the second equation. I could do that. Um, and that might be the easiest way to handle this equation, only because there is only an x in that, and there is no y there. So having said that, I'm going to go about this the same way that I have been, and that is finding one of the equations that I can isolate a variable. So if I did x minus 5y equals negative 29, and I were to add 5y to both sides, I would get x is equal to 5y minus 29. Now, I can simply take the other equation that I haven't used yet, which would be the first one, and I have a new name for x, which is 5y minus 29, and that should equal 12. 2 times x equals 12, but x is equal to 5y minus 29. Distributing, I get 10y. 2 times negative 29 is going to be negative 58, and that's equal to 12. When I add 58 to both sides, I now get 10y is equal to 70, so that y is equal to 7. Remember, this is y is equal to 7. Now, I have to go to the equation x is equal to 5y minus 29, since I just used 2x equals 12, and I get x minus 5y equals negative 29. But y is equal to 7, so x minus 5 times 7 is negative 29. Negative 5 times 7 is negative 35. Adding 35 to both sides, and I'm going to get x is equal to 6. But I knew that at the beginning, because I had the equation 2x is equal to 12, so x had to be 6, and I could have plugged that into the second equation and got 6 minus 5y is negative 29 and solved that for y. So what this tells me, then, is that my ordered pair solution should be 6, 7. And when I do the check, I've just used x minus 5y, so I'm simply going to do uh, does 2, <laughs> actually at this point, the only other equation is 2 times 6 equals 12. 2x equals 12, but x is equal to 6. And does 2 times 6, 12 is equal to 12. So that's all I can do to check there. And so my ordered pair solution is 6, 7. We'll go on to the fourth example. In problem number 15, we have 5x plus 2y is 9, and then x plus y is negative 3. So I need to solve one of the equations for x or y. And since we've been used to solving for y, 
I'm going to solve for y by subtracting x on both sides of the x plus y equals negative 3 equation. And I end up with y is equal to negative x minus 3. I go to my first equation, 5x plus 2y equals 9. I'm going to replace y with negative x minus 3. When I do, I get 5x. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And 5x minus 2x is 3x minus 6 equals 9. Add 6, and I get 3x is equal to 15. Dividing by 3, I get x is equal to 5. Now, the second thing that I'm going to do is use either equation to plug in x. So since I have a simple equation in terms of x, I know that x plus y equals negative 3. I can plug in 5 plus y is negative 3. Subtract 5 on both sides, and I would get y is equal to negative 8 so that my ordered pair solution should be 5 comma negative 8, which I can test. Instead of using x plus y equals negative 3, which I just used, I'm going to use the other equation, the first equation. In this case, 5x plus 2y is equal to 9. I'm going to plug in 5 times x, which is 5 times 5, plus 2 times y, which is 2 times negative 8, and I get 25, 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, or minus 16, and 25 minus 16 is 9. And so that checks, and I have the ordered pair solution 5 comma negative 8. And so that's going to do it for this video and these four problems.